Hello guys, welcome to the Hive Production. On this video tutorial, we are going to model iPhone 14 Pro Max in 3D Studio Max with V-Ray Lite setup. During this session, we will play with some editable poly, editable spline, extrude modifier, V-Ray materials and much more. So let's get started. So I have a 3D Studio Max. This is my interface. I'm going to go to the shapes first and then I will draw rectangle in my front view port. After drawing my rectangle, uh, we'll have to make a center line and then uh, just need to set the alignment, convert them into editable spline. Just select all the corners of vertices and go to the selection options and make it fill it. Fill it will help you to smooth your corners and then go to the modifier list. Find out extrude modifier. Extrude modifier will give you the depth amount and now it's going to be 3D. I think uh, we should go back to the vertex and make it more length. Now it's uh, looking proper. Somehow we have some basic shapes. Convert to the editable poly. Select the polygon option. Front back, press control and make it H. So just find out chamfer options to make a smooth corners of the iPhone model. And after that, uh, once again, go to the polygons and select polygon, insert them. Same thing we will have to do this, uh, insert like this, select both of them. No, first select uh, polygons, this one, go to detach. We'll give the name back and again the same process, select polygon, select this one and make it detach as well, which is called my front. After giving these things, these are the separate options, the front and back and the center point. So our next step that I can have a reference images of this iPhone and so many iPhones. So we will have to model some kind of a backside of this camera with, uh, let's see, we'll make this, go to the rectangle once again and draw a rectangle here with same length and width actually have to be square. So convert them into a spline, select vertices, same process, go to the fillet option, make them smooth corners and uh, after that go to the modifier list, find out extrude modifier. So let's see, we'll have to find out extrude modifier here and uh, I think here it is. So yes, we have a depth amount of extrude. So just need to set the extrude modifier properly on the backside of this model. So we have already generated the base of the camera. Uh, and now just, I think it's uh, set, but uh, now we have three cameras in it. So let's create go to the standards, create tube here, like this. And now we will have to see the reality. I'm going to increase the side of this tube because uh, it's smooth and just set the tube here like this and go back to here, select cylinder, draw a cylinder inside of this tube which is going to be the base of the camera lens all right this is uh, i think this is good i'm going to set here shift and drag your mouse and make their duplicates once again shift drag your mouse hold shift key and drag your mouse so now just need to set to something like this. Okay. 
okay we have so many uh, so many things like this flashlights so just duplicate and uh, select the radius and decrease the size of the radius and then the same thing happened radius down the lens as well I think it has to be like this here hold the shift key and make a duplicate like this so now it's uh, I think we have generated we have modeled the basic design of the camera of iPhone which is something like this now my access tab is this uh, what will I have to do okay this is my front side my back side so I have Adobe Illustrator I have already created a logo of uh, Apple so I'm gonna export this logo or save as this logo with the name of Apple logo and just select the version of 8 8 version supports 3ds max files so we can import this Apple logo file here so now I'm gonna import my logo file which is my Apple logo and you can see this is spline modeling Apple here we have um, already models so just set them on the back side of it X and uh, increase the size throughout the uh, scaling and apply extrude modifier so now it is extrude and properly 3d we have placed behind of iphone so uh, one more thing that we have to draw this which is their uh, side buttons power power buttons or maybe volumes button so what am i going to do i'm going to go to the left side of it create rectangle okay so i'm going to convert them into a spline after a spline just select their vertices and make them fill it so it will smooth and apply extrude modifier so it has extrude so now it's become 3d from spline modeling to 3d modeling just set here and uh, also duplicate hold it shift key duplicate so this is my volume buttons I'm gonna take another duplicate to create some power button or uh, just to make a properly button handles so these are these buttons I'm gonna duplicate from the right side of it the same thing so it's going to be okay so this button and another one so we have uh, set these things according to their options according to their uh, giving references from this Google we have already seen this video so I'm gonna just uh, give the render settings VA and make them expert mode after making an expert mode you just need to wait because it has some time a radius map select the options bucket and as well we just need to try to find out material editor so we need to press M for the material editor all right go to the standard and find out the video material uh, I think which is here so assign video materials on the screen first same thing okay so now I'm gonna select this apple I'm gonna go to the video materials chrome so it has to be a shiny object so I'm gonna take black color reflective remove personal check and apply same thing I'm gonna apply on the border of this this is my screen site so I'm gonna take some border add some edges 
throw the connection from top and bottom like this after that make them chamfer so it has some gaps between of them like this so now we only need to see just select them and uh, throw our polygons and this one this side as well and assign a material uh, which has some light color and so we can identify these okay so now we have these lines i'm gonna go to the these buttons i'm gonna assign another video material and uh, we'll take uh, the same chrome material but with some different properties I'm going to give some 0.8 glossiness. Okay, let's talk about this back cover. Again, video material. And give the color some kind of uh, dark tones. Or a little bit grayish type, I think. Or maybe somehow white. Okay. I'm gonna select all this border and I will apply the same color. So we'll go to the texture here, screen texture. Okay. So we will apply black color on the border of the screen, proper black color and as well we select the screen. I have already created a wallpaper. Uh, let me show you. This is my background. I have created this wallpaper. So now I'm going to show this wallpaper on the screen through the material editor. Let me find out or let me assign the material so you can see the proper. Let's find out iPhone and this one is a texture. So I'm going to apply UVW map modifier and now we can see this beautiful texture on the screen of my iPhone and it looks uh, really good, really cool. Okay, so next step is just to find out the lens of the, I'm sorry, uh, the camera lens of this uh, iPhone model, which is this. So I'm going to select all of this one and I will apply lens texture throughout the video material. So go to the diffuse bitmap and select this lens texture. All right. So throughout the UV map, I'm going to just adjust here like this and increase the length and width. So throughout that it will be fixed here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this uh, UAW map and apply on the other sides. Okay, find out. Let's see the flashlight texture. Let me find out. Okay, I think this one will help me. So I'm going to save this flashlight. And now I'll go to the material editor and assign my flashlight texture on this throughout the UVW map. So now I have already created this iPhone 14. I think we should change some color because I'm not satisfied with this white color. I want some different like uh, these attractive so I think this this black looks cool all right so let me uh, group them and we'll go to the our scene model scene 
So I'm going to go apply a target camera. Let's see their look somehow like this. It will turn like this. Okay. So just need to see. I'm going to copy this model, both of them, front and back, and I will paste this model in my install scene. I've already created this scene, install modeling, and you can get the link in the description. Uh, or furthermore, you want to download this scene, so you can go to the turbosquad.com and just download this. So I'm going to place iPhone on the table. Uh, it's up to you which one table you would like to have. Like uh, you want to have a reception table or you would like to have a center table. I'm going to have center table here, something like this. Okay, I'm going to place it down here. Both of them. And I'll turn their positions like this. So I'm going to assign another camera here, which is uh, going to be I think uh, now it looks cool here. And this will be my render look or something else. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's see some how it will look like somehow realistic, but uh, let me give some dark color on the back cover of this model. I don't like this purple. So let me change the color. It will going to be a black. Or maybe darker gray. So let's see the render with some reflections. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you like this realistic iPhone 3D model design. And if you like this, so subscribe my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you so much.